Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, kick things off. The I'm on a train to uh, Red Hat Summit in Boston, so I'm not going to talk too long because the connection is probably going to drop out. The main thing I wanted to announce is just that um, we're going to be, I guess, rechartering this group and changing the name. So instead of the CNF testbed, it's going to become the telecom users group. And the CNF testbed will be one of the subtopics that it um, covers and is responsible for. And of course, if, if things heat up enough on the testbed that, that doesn't uh, work well to combine it into the call, then uh, we can always split off and have a separate uh, meeting again. But uh, we do want to appropriate this time for the, the telecom users group uh, going forward. So um, beyond that news, I just wanted to suggest that we go ahead and cancel the meeting on the 20th because we're going to be having our kickoff of the telecom user group in uh, Barcelona. And that's going to be, um, let's see. Uh, oh, sorry for the noise here. Um, May 23rd. Uh, yeah, May 23rd at 11 a.m. Um, so I hope uh, folks will be able to attend that. And then I look forward to diving back into this meeting again um, on, uh, it looks like June the 3rd. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll try and stay on, but I'm going to mute from here. So uh, we'd love to get uh, updates from Taylor and others. And uh, thanks for the call. Great. Um, so, uh, run through some of the related announcements. <clears throat> so, the there's several um, mini summits that are happening right before KubeCon Barcelona on Monday, uh, May 20th. Uh, two of the I think very relevant for the CNF testbed and um, related for the telecom user group. That's <clears throat> Coming together is FDIO Mini Summit and the LFN's Cloud Native Network Service Day. Those are happening at the same time. They are in the same facility. So if take a look at those, uh, the schedules, I think there's going to be relevant talks in both. And if, if you register, you'll be able to walk back and forth and, and look at some of those. Um, there's various people that have been involved on the CNF testbed that are going to be presenting, including myself. I'll be actually at both uh, presenting at FDI Mini Summit and the Cloud Native Network Services Day. Regarding the CNF testbed, there's also some network service mesh talks um, that are happening, as well as um, FDI CSIT talks that are going to be there. I think, Machek, you may be on the line, and you're, if that's your name, that's a little bit funny there. And I think those are the, the big ones that I know of. I don't know if anyone else has announcements that are right around KubeCon. <clears throat> uh, KubeCon China, Shanghai, there's going to be additional talks as well. That's going to be June 25th to 26th. And those are the main announcements. I have before we go into anything else. I know some people from the various groups like Frederick, Yellaron, does anyone have any announcements or feedback? Okay, um, thanks for dropping the sketch for the Shanghai. 
<clears throat> so uh, we mentioned this at the last one, but I'll bring it back up again. Network Service Mesh was introduced as a sandbox project as CNF test and for CNCF, and the CNF test bed is going to be including Network Service Mesh soon for um, stitching together the use cases for connecting all the network service mesh. That's one of the um, goals, um, the primary goals that we're going to be uh, working on over the next several weeks up through KubeCon and probably after. There's some relevant use cases that are being worked on on both projects with regard to showing integration and the hybrid setups that are in production with OpenStack, um, VNFs running on those, uh, Kubernetes running uh, new CNFs as well as other workloads and being able to talk and make connections between those. We've been doing a lot of performance uh, tests and how things work. We'll be showing some integrations between those. Um, we've added some early support for CentOS, uh, Fred Sharp and Robert and some other folks are on the call, I think, right now. Been working a lot on those. So we'll be having um, more support for host OSs that are on the different clusters. Those are coming um, soon. They're not right now it's Ubuntu, but we'll have those pretty soon. That matches up with what's available at Packet. Um, right now it's the Ubuntu host OSs, but we'll be having the CentOS, which ties in with what a lot of the telcos have. Um, right now, we're not looking at directly supporting RHEL, but we'll have CentOS, which will give uh, direction for doing stuff like that. And um, the other items are related to getting things updated on the projects like PPP for using uh, the newer releases, which um, not only gets us some of the newer features in general, but allows us to move away from the binary only drivers for packets, Mellanox network cards, but going to the built-in for both VPP as well as DPDK. And that's in the works um, to get that support in place. And that makes deployments a lot easier as well on to pack it as well as um, keeping things moving towards open source from um, bare metal all the way up. That's an uh, overview of pretty much everything from the CNF testbed side and the options. I'm open for any questions, answers, if anyone has anything, as well as if someone else has items they'd like to discuss. I haven't heard anything from folks for a while. I'm hoping that y'all can hear me. <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay, great. As more folks have been getting involved, all the documentation and testing, the repeatability of the uh, CNF testbed code, different stages for cluster deployment, uh, deploying the use cases themselves, that's getting a lot more work and we're updating the docs themselves. Um, definitely want to get feedback on areas where it's, it's not repeatable or something may be missing, but that's coming together. Um, the more use cases I think will start showing up as a result of this, including the, the integration between Kubernetes and OpenStack, that use case I was talking about. We'll also be adding SRV and some other ones. On that, if there's folks that are directly involved from either a vendor side 
or a telco and knowing here's some production use cases, uh, either documenting, getting specific on those or helping with actual PRs for adding those is encouraged and welcome. Yeah, and I guess the thing is getting to a point where the um, where the stuff we're doing is open sourced and available to be consumed by this. So, you know, I know from my perspective, there's stuff that would eventually want to get into this test bed, um, but might not yet be at a point to do that. Uh, what sort of stuff would you want to see in there? I mean, as in, you know, actual CNS that we could deploy into it. Okay. Right now, the CNFs that we've been testing with are based on, they were originally based on code in the ONAP uh, VCP use case, which is um, in a, on a GitHub repository. And mm -hmm. if you break it down, essentially those are VPP based CNFs, mm -hmm. um, very minimal, and then you can configure them as you could with VPP. And they've been focused on the high performance data plane testing. We definitely like to get more. Do you have any ideas of specific um, network functions that would be good to add and test with? I mean, I think ultimately it's anything that uses what VPP can do. So, um, you know, whether it's uh, just routing, natting, firewalling, IPsec, you know, whatever, whatever VPP can do. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, ultimately, yeah, it's just, just getting a broad range in there. So I think that's what I'd like to see longer term. Okay, great. Uh, uh, right now look, we've been doing, uh, oh, go ahead. I just want to take a look at the ones that you have for VCP, like what's in there, you know, um, because presumably those have basic sort of routing and natting in them already. Oh, actually, yeah. I mean, They've been primarily IPv4, IPv6 routing. Um, we mm -hmm. are looking at some of the others. The firewall side is something that uh, was already done in the some of the ONAP use cases. So okay. that would be one that we could pull over um, uh -huh. and test. We, we're uh, ideally we'd look at um, smaller um, use cases, we, or if it's a large one, then we break it down into its component pieces so that we could isolate those, implement them, and then you can add those as a composable part. Yeah, no, completely. I mean, the whole point should be to chain quite small functions. Yeah. The other one that might be worth would be um, load balancing. Okay. Because That's I know there's a good that, one. There, there is that kind of maglev style code in VPP, isn't there? How usable, mm -hmm. how usable it is, I'm not sure, but um, it'd be nice to throw things like that in there. Great. Anything else folks want to add or discuss? Okay. Well, we can end it early and that's uh, fine. So the next call, um, we'll, we won't have a next call. The next will be an in-person meeting to kick off the tug at KubeCon on Thursday, May 23rd. And then we'll have a, the next Zoom meeting is gonna be in June. And that's June 3rd, Monday at 8 a.m. Pacific. Thanks, everyone, for Thank joining. You, everyone. Thank you.